good morning my dear students welcome back to assisti classes hope you all are fit and fine and enjoying your studies with assisti classes first of all i would like to assure you that there is no need to be worry about your studies i am here to take care about that so just stay at your home be safe and enjoy your family time now about study so in the last video we were discussing about bindu sar and ashoka in that video we discussed that after the death of chandragupta maurya bindu sar became the ruler means he was the son and successor of chandragupta maurya he was the son of durdhara and after becoming the ruler he just maintained the empire that was established by chandragupta maurya After the death of Bindusa, Susim became the ruler. But Susim was killed by Ashoka, and after getting victory in the successive battle, Ashoka became the ruler. So Ashoka came in power in 273 before Common Era, and finally became the ruler in means. he was coronated as a ruler in 269 before common era is that clear after that <coughs> discuss that in the 7th year of his coronation according to ras tarangani ashoka fought the battle of kashmir means he occupied kashmir and populated srinagar there after that we discuss that in the 8th year of his coronation ashoka invaded kalinga and in that war near by 1 lakh people were killed and because of this mass massacre he was deeply hurted and finally decided not to touch the weapon means ashoka adopted dham goes at the place of bhari goes and after the war of kalinga due to the influence of Shravan Nigrod, according to the Pons and Mahavans, and Upgupt, according to Devi Vadan, Ashoka adopted Buddhism, and finally he became the greatest follower of Buddhism due to the influence of Mongoli Buddhists. And the third Buddhist council was organized at the time of Ashoka. After that, we discussed that Ashoka was a follower of Buddhism, but even that. he had equal respect respect for all the religions and uh, an example of that we discussed that ashoka built four caves sudama chapar karan and vishwa jhopri for the follower of ajil sect and after that we discussed about the religious travels of ashoka now in this video we are going to discuss about ashoka's Dham. So first of all, the first question is, what do we actually mean by dham? Dham or dhar? Release. So, what was Ashoka's dham? Actually, it was not a new religion. Generally, by dham we get that a new religion was started by someone. For example, Buddhist religion, Bodh Dharma. In the same manner, Jain religion, Jain Dharma. So, in the same manner, if you look here, that Ashoka's dham or Ashoka's dham. and it is not mean by a new religion actually asoka's dham means the moral ideals for moral upliftment moral upliftment of 
मासस सो इन शॉर्ट वी कैन से दैट अशोका पॉपुलेटेड सम आइडल्स मोरल वैल्यूज फॉर मोरल अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ द मासस एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल अशोकास धम सो अशोकास धम एक्चुअली नॉट अ न्यू रिलीजन इट वाज जस्ट सम मोरल वैल्यूज मोरल आइडल्स प्रोपगेटेड बाय अशोका फॉर द moral upliftment of his masses okay in another terms if we define ashoka's dham then we can say that ashoka's dham means sunning all the evil action compassion charity and purity of action is general terms we can say that ashoka gave some moral ideals for moral upliftment of the masses is known as dham or if we define ashoka's dham means according to ashoka if we find the definition of ashoka's dham then ashoka said that shunning all the evil action compassion charity and purity of action is dham so what is dham shunning all the evil action compassion charity and purity of action is that clear that is what we call dham now along with that dham ashoka provided some conditions conditions to follow the dham so i think it is clear in your mind now what do we mean by dham ashoka dham means Sending all the evil action, purity of action, compassion and charity. So sending all the evil action, compassion, charity and purity of action is what we call dham. And in general terms, we can say that the moral values propagated by Ashoka, moral ideals propagated by Ashoka for moral upliftment of his masses is known as. Dham. Is that clear, guys? This topic is very important with exam point of view. So keep all these things clearly in your mind. Now, essential conditions for dham. According to Ashoka, there are some essential conditions required to follow the dham. So, which are these essential conditions? the essential conditions are guys there is nothing special in the essential conditions most of these essential conditions are the same as we discussed in the definition how you can do it here first of all the first is sending all the evil action just the same as we discussed in the definition after that non violence or we can say that not killing the and okay after that compassion charity along with that which are the most important things for good behavior means which kind of thing should be there for good behavior for example we should behave in proper manner with the other persons 
we should do the work of public welfare we should do the work of charity towards one's guru brahman relatives friends and along with that we should we should respect our elders all these kind of things are related with our moral values and these moral values are considered as essential conditions for asoka's dham so along with compassion charity work of charity form brahmin friends relatives along with that respect respect for one's elders all these things are considered as the essential condition for dham nothing special in the essential conditions of dham whatever moral values and moral concepts we are accepting at present in our present society all these things are uh, considered as the essential condition for dham by ashoka for example sending all the evil action non violence means not killing the animals or we can say that feeling of kindness towards the animals compassion charity along with that charity for brahmins friends relatives and shramans respect for one's elder along with that we can also say that the work of uh, purity of action work of public welfare work of public welfare all these kind of things are included work of public welfare all these kind of things are included in the as this work in this essential conditions of ashoka's dham means these are considered as the essential condition of ashoka's dham now the next thing which is very important and that is in which inscription we get the definition of ashoka guys i will tell you uh, i will tell you about these inscriptions separately in the last of this video but here according to the description also we will discuss about that a detailed description i will give you in the last of this video about these inscriptions related to ashoka so if we talk about the definition of ashoka's dham then we get the definition of ashoka's dham in the second and seventh rock adding of ashoka means second and seventh rock adding of ashoka give us definition of ashoka's dham means whatever definition we discussed here is provided by second and seventh row addict of ashoka after that the next point according to bhagu according to bhagu rock addict according to bhagu rock addict ashoka expressed expressed belief in both religions three ratnas which are in three ratnas which are buddh dham and sam buddh dham and sam in this way asuka's dham means sending all the evil action compassion charity and purity of action if it is talk about these essential conditions then the same things which we discussed in the definition of asuka's dham are included in that 
Now the definition of asutasam is provided by second and seventh rock addict. If we talk about uh, a particular rock addict, means especially about a particular rock addict, then in the second rock addict, we can say that the second rock addict provides us definition of asutas dham. Is that clear? Now the next point, which is related with dham mahamatras dham yatra. So first of all, dham yatra. So what do we actually mean by dham yatra? Dham yatra or religious travel. So what do we mean by Dham Yatra or religious travel? Guys, before Ashoka, the rulers had to map, means they were habitual to map Vihar Yatras, means we can say that they used to map travels for hunting. But after Ashoka's adoption of Buddhism, Ashoka started religious camp, Dham Yatra at the place of Vihar Yatras. And for under this Dham Yatra, Ashoka used to provide gold coins. Gold coins to Brahmins Brahmins, Shramans and along with that to elderly one. So Dham Yatra means or religious travel means Ashoka used to provide gold coins for religious travels to Brahmins, servants and elderly persons, this is what we call Dham Yatra. So Dham Yatra means religious travel, which was economically assisted by Ashoka. Means we can say that Ashoka used to assist Brahmins, servants and elderly persons for religious travel by providing them gold coins and this is what we call Dham Yatra. After that, the next point is Anusandha. The next point is Anusandhan. Anusandhan means, what do we actually mean by Anusandhan? So guys, the different kind of officers at the time of Ashoka were sent for religious preaching. Every, uh, after every fifth year, mean to say that Ashoka used to send Yuktas Ashoka used to send Yuktas Pradesic and Pravarikas on religious travel after every fifth year and this is what we call Anusandhan means the process of Sending Yuktas, Pradesik, and Vebarik Mahamatras for religious travel after every fifth year is known as Anusandhan. Means this process is known as Anusandhan. Is that clear? So, Anusandhan is related with the travel of Yuktas, Pradesikas, and Vebarik Mahamatras on religious travel. Okay, after every fifth year. Now, the question is. There were two major states at the time of Ashoka in which Ashoka used to send the Yuktas and Pradesikas, Vavari Mahamatras after every third year. Mean to say that except these two, in the other states he used to send the Vavari Mahamatras after every fifth year. But in these two states he used to send them in the, after every 
third year you have to find out the names of these major states related with the administration of ashoka okay after that sansandhan means sending vidas pradeshikas and memari mahamatras on religious travel in these states after every fifth year after that the next point next point is dham mahamatras so what do we actually mean by these dham mahamatras there is actually ashok in the 14th year of his coronation in the 14th year of coronation appointed some officers religious officers for the work of religious propagation means propagation of the religion along with that for the moral upliftment or we can say that for the upliftment of the character of the masses for releasing the prisoners and for providing economic help to the family members of the prisoners and all these officers are called as dham mahamatras so what do we actually mean by dham mahamatras as a very short answer that question you can learn it dham mahamatras means the religious officers appointed by ashoka or the officers appointed by ashoka in the 14th year of his coronation for religious propagation moral upliftment of the masses releasing the prisoners and providing economic help to the family members of the prisoners are called as dham mahamatras is that clear okay now the next point which we are going to discuss here is related with asoka's grow habits a very important thing which we are going to discuss here now so asoka was the first ruler who used the method of procadis means if we discuss about the different rulers present in indian history then the first ruler who used the method of procadis to address his masses or we can say that for the propagation of his masses was ashoka so here we are going to discuss about ashoka's procadis so here from this point you can find a question like who was the first ruler in the indian history used rokadix for informing the masses about his views for addressing the masses about his views and your answer will be ashoka okay now the point is from which ruler ashoka got this inspiration inspiration to address the masses or the method of rokadix for the for addressing the masses with rokadix so he got that from dara or jaris dara or jaris first was the ruler from which ashoka get this uh, got this inspiration to address the masses with rokadix now different kind of rokadix we find about ashoka as we discussed means there are uh, 14 major rokadix uh, 7 Short rokadics of Ashoka are there, and along with that, some other inscriptions are also there, which were used by Ashoka for addressing the masses. Out of these fourteen, the most important one for us are first rokadic. The first rokadic of Ashoka is related to Pan or. killing of animals here i will tell you only about those rock acts which are important for you according to your syllabus first rock act related with ban on killing of animals means in the first rock act ashoka mentioned that no animal should be killed for any purpose means uh, for the purpose of yagyas and any other kind of sacrifice for any kind of activity no animal should be killed so first of all ban on killing of animals in the second drug addict in the second drug addict ashoka gave definition of his dham Definition of 
डिफाइन इन दी सेकेंड रॉक एडिक्ट आफ्टर दैट द नेक्स्ट इज द थर्ड रॉक एडिक्ट अबाउट मोडरेट एक्यूमेशन एंड मॉडरेट यूज ऑफ मनी मॉडरेट एक्यूमेशन एंड मॉडरेट एक्सपेंडिशन ओके मॉडरेट एक्यूमेशन एंड मॉडरेट एंड मॉडरेट एक्सपेंडिशन एंड इन द फोर्थ रॉक एडिक अशोका एक्सप्रेस इज आइडिया अबाउट रेनसिएशन ऑफ हेरिगोस एंड अडोप्शन ऑफ थम्बोस सो रेनसिएशन ऑफ हेरिगोस एंड अडोप्शन ऑफ थम्बोस हेरिगोस एंड थम्बोस and after that in the seventh row can it define definition of ashoka dham okay so very ghos and dham dham ghos if you will write it in hindi then very ghos will consist four words four letters and this is the fourth row Right. So in this way, fourth row character, very close, third row, very close, four letters, and this one is also four. Okay, and definition of thumb again is it is in the seventh row. In the second and third row character of Ashoka, we find mention of Greek ruler Antiochus II. Is that clear? The first person who was capable to read out the script of Ashoka's Rock addicts was James Prince. James Prince, and he did that in 1836. And most of the rock addicts of Ashoka are are in Brahmi script. Only two rock addicts, Mansera and Sahabaz. Mansera and Sahabaz Gadi are in cross district. Is that clear? So in this way, in this video, we discussed about Ashoka's dham along with that pro cadix of Ashoka. While watching this video, if there will be any doubt in your mind, you can write me in the comment section. I will definitely help you to resolve all your doubts. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Jai.